Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today we'll be teaching something practical, how to make HitFilm run faster and have less lag issues when you're using it. The first thing is proxies. Now a proxy just means that you pre-render your video. Now I don't think it helps much with the actual editing speed, so in terms of scrolling through your video and that sort of thing. But if you proxy a media, then it'll pretty much re-render it so that your export times are much, much quicker. So the way you proxy your media is in the editor, you can right click on your clip and select make proxy. And once you do that, then it'll start proxying it for you. If you go into your media panel here, we can see that because I haven't edited this at all, uh, you can see this a little circle going around. It's quite a long clip. So after the little circle's gone around, it's going to start loading it up and it's going to start uh, proxying it. You can also do this right here in the media panel, right click and make proxy. You can do that out of norm clips and also out of composite shots. If you want to have a look at how your proxies are going all in one window, on a Mac you can go to view, panels, and you can go to the processor and you can see uh, what's happening with each of your processes as it's trying to proxy each media file. The second thing is to do with the thumbnails and it's to do with the actual editing speed uh, when you're scrolling through the timeline in the editor. So here I've got this really long clip and I've heard a lot of people complain about the fact that when they're scrolling through their timeline it's really slow. Um, and one way that it can be fixed uh, is to change the thumbnail and the layout. So just this little button right here, you can click on it or right click on it um, and in the preview mode you can make it full which means it'll show the full previews, the full thumbnail previews or you can just hit none and what that'll do is just get rid of the previews, it'll get rid of the thumbnails and it'll get rid of the audio waveform as well and this should help because if you go from say the beginning all the way to somewhere else in your video five minutes in it should be able to play back perfectly smoothly so now we're in a composite shot so when you play it back you can see it's really laggy at the moment just a couple of frames per second now to fix this, we can do a whole bunch of things. If you go to the top right of the screen, if you click on the full button here, this is actually showing the quality. Now normally it will be set on full, which means it will show full quality, but you can go down to half or quarter, quarter quality, um, and that way it will reduce the quality, it will be less sharp, and it will be much more pixelated. But when you play it back, you should be able to achieve a much, much higher frame rate. So that's the first tip. The second tip is RAM previews, so I'm just going to go back into full and I'm just going to hit this little RAM preview button which is the circular play button next to the normal play button and if you hit this then it'll start rendering it out frame by frame and it'll store it in your RAM and you can see now it's done, it's turned from a stop back into a play button and in this blue bit right here we can scrub through it perfectly smoothly and we can also play back through it perfectly smoothly. Now I've only got a little bit here, but if you want to have it uh, for a longer period of time, then you can simply lower the quality and it'll make sure that the RAM preview actually runs faster and that it goes out for longer and you get a longer RAM preview. So to reiterate guys, something that you can do to speed up your hit film, right click on your media and make it a proxy. Secondly, you can go in here into the preview mode and just get rid of the thumbnails. Thirdly, you can lower your quality and this is both in the composite shot and in the editor, which I neglected to mention. And fourth, in a composite shot you can do a RAM preview, which will render out a completely lag-free small section of your composite shot. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it helped you out um, and I will see you guys as always in the next video. Stay shiny. Bye.